Hi, in the last two video lesson, we teach you how to make a user sign up and encrypt the password with Bcrypt. So for example, if you try to create another user with the same email, so you see success false email already exists. For example, if I add another email, for example, this would be, um, I mean, let's say John Doe. Okay, like so, um, John Doe, and uh, so we then had, for example, um, I mean a name. So you see, false, so please add a name. And if we do have a name, John Doe, and we do not have a password, okay, so as you can see please add a password and if we do okay so uh, let's say um john okay add one two three and boom we create another user so in this video lesson i'm gonna teach you how to make a user sign in okay so without wasting time let's begin In our code editor, in user controller, we have user sign up, okay? And uh, we're gonna create sign in controller, okay? So just to save time, I'm gonna copy all of these and paste it here. I'm gonna get rid of everything inside, okay? Like so, and instead of sign up, I will have sign in, okay? Async, request, response, next. Okay, and now I'm gonna use a try catch block. Okay, try and catch block. Okay, catch block like so. And to begin, we're gonna make some check. Okay, but before let's destructure. Okay, so we're gonna destructure, I mean, uh, email. Okay, and uh, password. Okay, form. The request body okay request that body because all the requests will come from the request body okay and after that I'm gonna make some check for example uh, if okay if we uh, leave I mean email blank or password I mean if there is not email and our password okay I'm gonna return okay return okay uh, I'm gonna return uh, response that uh, status okay 100 bad requests with uh, a JSON message okay like so, I want to say um, success, success false, and a uh, message. Okay, so we want to say email and uh, oops, password, password are required. Okay, like so, and. Uh, if uh, we do have email and password, we're gonna, uh, we want to make a second check, okay? Let's check if the email exists in the database, okay? Check user, user email. Okay, and uh, now I'm gonna create uh, another variable, const user, okay? Equal, because we're using async, I mean, we're gonna await I mean, because it's, it could take some time. So await user that find one, find one. This is uh, from the MongoDB database. Okay, find one, I mean, email. Okay, because here this is, I mean, JSON. Okay, so let's test again. Okay, if, uh, because we are, I mean, check the user by his email. If we do not find uh, 
the user, I mean, the user email, the email, I mean, we want to return, okay, so, to save time, okay, return, I mean, bad request, success, false, and has message, um, I want to return invalid credentials, credentials, okay, like so. I mean, uh, for the error, let's catch, I mean, catch error. Okay. Let's console that log I mean, the error. And let's return, I mean, some message. Okay. So later I'm going to add custom message. So just for now, I'm going to leave it like so. And the house message, uh, let's say, uh, in cannot log in, check your credentials. Okay, like so. Okay, but we have we have two checks we have um a third check to to do this is um to i mean to verify the user password okay verify verify user password okay to do this uh we're gonna go back i mean to the user model we're gonna add a custom method I mean, to verify the password with the BigQuit package. BigQuit, sorry, package, okay. So BigQuit has also a method to compare the password, as you can see in the documentation, BigQuit.compare, okay, your password. This is the hash, okay, a callback, a word result, etc. So you can read uh more okay so this is a big red package so and now i'm gonna get back okay to my i mean user model i mean uh, to compare the uh the password okay so now let's uh, access user model and here i'm gonna add a custom method okay to verify i mean the password okay okay verify password okay so like so some more space okay and now i'm gonna use the user schema okay okay user schema i'm gonna add a custom method okay efforts this is how we add custom method on uh, i mean uh, user user schema i mean the model and uh, we're gonna name it i mean compare password uh, password like so and uh, equal async async function okay and uh, this will be I mean, has parameter will be your your password password okay. I mean, uh, and here we turn we turn a weight as we pass. I mean, as we have async a weight. I mean, uh, liquid because remember the last time we used liquid. I mean, uh, be quit, okay, be quit, okay, oops, uh, be quit uh, like so, and that compare, be quit has a special method, uh, compare, and this will be the first parameter, will compare the password that you will enter with, uh, the password in the model okay this password okay this that password okay like so let's add a comma 
like so i think okay that's it and now i'm gonna call i mean since this this is on the user schema okay i mean calling the password calling to compare the password and now i'm gonna i mean call this custom method on uh, the user controller okay and now in user controller let's create our third check okay um to verify our password okay let's create a variable name uh, is match okay match equal await because we are using async await okay await this user okay this user and our custom method so uh let me show you here is name compare password okay compare password and uh, compare password we will add i mean the password this password that we the structure okay like so okay and uh, a check okay let's uh add a check um if if the password is not match okay i mean the password you entered is not match with the password in the database okay this is that's what we are trying to say okay and now we are going to return i mean a message we're gonna say okay bad request success false and the same message because you know you don't want to tell the user if there is a his password that that's not good or email okay so we're gonna be um try to be consistent okay and the last part if uh, everything is okay okay we have three check if all of them are okay and now we want to return the user i mean response okay that status okay 200 here 200 okay uh that json like so and uh what we want to return success okay true and uh i'm gonna return for now the user but later when a user is signing i'm gonna return success tool and uh, a token and the token will have only the user id okay um okay i think that's it so um and now uh in user wout so let's add i mean sign in okay sign in i'm gonna extract i mean user sign in in user controller and now i'm gonna add another another word for sign in okay here sign in here sign in okay i think that's it and now let's give a try in postman okay in postman and now let's add a our request this would be a post request and uh okay let's make let me create another request this will be sign sign in okay this will be post request and also let's copy all of these put it here here and this will be sign in our endpoint uh, okay in the body let's check wow and instead of text we have json and to sign in i'm gonna need uh, two parameters i'm gonna need i mean email and password okay let's uh oops uh, like so email and password okay uh, and now let's try to remove i mean uh, uh the email okay let's try sign in okay email and password are required okay if we do not have email or password the message will be email and password are required okay so the next check uh, if we i mean do have email and password and he's not fine it's not fine the uh, email in the database what will be the answer so invalid credentials okay and
and uh, that's it so if the I mean the password also is not good invalid credentials if else if the, everything is okay okay so as you can see um, we have we return our user so as you can see later I'm going not gonna send I mean all the user information I'm gonna only send the ID inside the, a token okay so for this part for this lesson that's it guys I don't want to make it too long so if you like this video please leave a thumbs up and if you have questions so please use the comment section below so and don't forget to invite your friends to this channel so that we can grow together so being saying that so thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye, -bye.